You're watching A Star TV. Its owners and associates take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the hosts of this talk show or their guests. Welcome to All About the Law. And here's your host, Willie Powell. Hello and welcome to the show, everybody. I'm your host, Attorney Willie Powell. We have a great show for you tonight. We're talking about police brutality, defunding police departments, and racial tension in this country. We'll also be joined by an outstanding living legend attorney a little bit later in the show. For the family of Robbie Tolan, the witnesses of police brutality, those horrible images, they cannot erase out of their minds. On December 31st of 2008, aspiring professional baseball player Robbie Tolan was shot outside his parents' Bel Air home by a Bel Air police officer. His injuries ended his baseball career and almost his life. Both his parents witnessed this horrific act. Joining us now is his mother, Marion Tolan, who took up the torch and became a political activist alongside her son. Ms. Tolan, welcome to All About the Law. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for joining us. And such a wonderful, delicate, beautiful attire you are in today. Thanks. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, you know, this is such a delicate topic, and we keep seeing it so often in our country. Yes. You know, we're reminded, you know, by the, uh, what, Trayvon Martins, the Sandra Blands, and the, the George Floyds. These things keep happening over and over and over again. You know, we're actually hoping now with our new administrative change that maybe we'll see some positive, you know, differences now as it comes to these issues. What are some of your thoughts and what would you like to see now that we do have, you know, the people have spoken on this issue? What well, would you like to see? I'm very, very hopeful yes. because it's time. Yes. It's been far too long. Yes. And that black and brown people yes. are not getting justice in the courtrooms of America. That's right. And it took, you know, we've, we've gone to trial and we've had mm. video, yes. still no justice in the courtrooms. That's right. Still That's police right. are not being held accountable for their actions. Right. right. And, but we, our families, these families suffer. Mm. You know, for the, for the majority of the world, yes. this happens to a family, it's high profile, it's televised, they see it on the news for three or four weeks, yeah. it goes away, yeah. and they go back to their life. Right. But for yeah. us, it never goes away. It never goes away. No, it never goes away. And, in fact, um, I believe it took 10 years or so that you fought this case, uh, and I can only imagine the difficulty and the every day and what is the outcome going to be. W what was a little bit of that struggle about? Well, uh, it was very yeah. difficult. I mean, yes. first of all, let me say this. Mm -hmm. I was blessed right. that my son survived. Yes. So, but with, and I was also blessed to witness it. Yes. Think about the parents who get the phone call mm -hmm. or the knock on the door. Yeah. I didn't have questions. I knew that Robbie had done nothing wrong. Right. And, and I witnessed it. But it was also a curse yes. because I relived it. Oh yes. You know, I'd hear I would hear the the, the gunshot and I would yeah. say, you know, is this a dream? Is this a bad dream? It was just it was a lot, a lot of highs, a, a lot of lows. Yes. And then for us not to get justice in the courtroom, mm -hmm. you know, he was the officer was indicted. Sure. That's one problem that I have with the law mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because he was he was not held accountable for his actions. And when it comes to police-involved misconduct, whether mm -hmm. it's shooting, a murder, a beating, mm -hmm. a racial profiling, sure. an unlawful stop in any way, right. they're not held accountable. And when they are, the charges are written mm -hmm. 
in a way not to convict. Right. Wow. Yeah, that there is real reform um, and coming from an attorney who has also been a part of the criminal justice system and seeing both sides and how all of this works, mm -hmm. uh, there's real reform needed in this exactly, country. Exactly, because and, they yeah. don't have any problem getting the charges right when it's a black involved, you know, when a black you. person has committed a crime. Right. They don't have any problem getting the charges right. right. So that is a part of the system that has got to change. Right, right. You know, these, the police have got to be held accountable. If you want us to trust them, if you want us to develop a relationship, if you want us to be involved with real change, right. that's got to happen. Because, like I said, with these families, you can't put a Band-Aid on it, you know, give them a big settlement and think that's if it's going to be okay. Right. It's right. not going to be okay. Right, right. And, 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 and you bring up, I know you've worked with Benjamin Crump yes. on several occasions, and, and you've been the front runner on some of these other cases and, and the calls yes. for getting this voice out, letting people know that these injustices need to be corrected. Exactly. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to ask you about the case that came out, the Tolan v. Cotton case. Yes. Um, that case is actually cited quite a bit, you know, uh, in regular usage. And yes. I think that may be a good, from the standpoint of we're, we can cite a case, because I think it was like the first case in over, what, 13 years? The first case, un unanimous decision in 13 years, and a win against a police officer in over 25 years. Yes. First civil rights case. So we can cite that case. How does that just knowing that at least we do have that case that can work to try to bring some of this together. Does well, that I think that, I mean, first of all, the only way we're going to know how things are going to turn out is sure. to go all the way. Yes. I'm not for out, I'm not for out of court settlements. Right. That is not, a, I'm not a fan That's of that. Right. That's right. right. Because we just saw the that. only way you can go all the way and change law is to go all the way. And I wasn't willing to spend the rest of my life wondering, I wonder what would have happened if. Right. right. I wasn't willing to look in my son's eyes and mm -hmm. not see the same person mm -hmm. who was there before. Right. Let me be clear about that. Absolutely. And I wasn't willing to look in his eyes and say I did all I could unless I did all I could. Right. And I feel the same way about the parents that I work with. That's right. I talk to Mike Brown's mother on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. I talk to Tamir Rice's mother on a re regular basis. Yes. We, we're all, we've come together and we're trying to really make real change. Wow. Not, not a Band-Aid change. Oh, wow. That's you can't beautiful. pat us on our hand. No. You know, and, and no. for these families, every mm -hmm. time there's another incident, mm -hmm. it opens that wound. Yes. It removes that scab again. Yes. And it hurts us to our core. Oh, wow. Because, you know, at least we can say we went through this and we made a difference. Mm. The pain made a difference for somebody yes. else. Mm -hmm. But it's very painful right. to, to just see over and over and over and no. over again. Now you bring up a really, and, 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 and again, we've got some real work that needs to be done. And I agree with you. I'm happy to see the new administrative changes yes. because it's got to start somewhere. Exactly. And we need to work from the top all the way down exactly. to fix this right. And let me ask you on this note, the defunding of the police, right? Okay. And, you know, what are your thoughts on that? You know, so getting around with training police and putting right. money in areas for like, uh, not just putting somebody in jail, but maybe hospitals or something that's actually going to address it or money back into the community and the training, proper training of the police. What are some of your thoughts surrounding those okay. issues? Well, let me first say, I don't have a problem with police. Okay, sure, sure. I, I, I mm -hmm. don't hate police officers. Right. I know right. they're not all bad. Right. But the system is very bad. Right, it's the system. The system is very bad. So what I'd like to see is special prosecutors, mm -hmm. when there are police involved, mm -hmm shootings, mm -hmm. misconduct in any way. Mm -hmm. Because with the, with the local DA, mm -hmm. they work together. Right. They're right. co-workers. Right. So how do you, it's almost like the police investigating themselves. Exactly. Right. Okay, we know that's not, gonna, that's not a good look and it's not going to turn out right. right. 
very little transparency exactly. and very little accountability. So we need a new system and in place system to make sure that change. those kind of things don't happen. Okay. I'd also see, I have a lot of ideas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe more than you care to hear, but the system has got to be where, you know, a lot of these police departments hire officers from other police departments uh -huh. and they hide their background. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's something that's definitely got to change. Now, you have not heard that. That's, this is not the first time you've heard that. Oh, no, no. It's got to, we have to be able to do a background check mm -hmm. on police officers. That's right. And if they don't, if, if you decide, if the city of Houston mm -hmm. wants to hire officers from the city of Baytown, right. and they have marks against yeah, them the in their record, mm -hmm. and you have them anyway, who's going to be responsible? The city of Houston has got to be held accountable right, for that. Right, right. And so we need, that needs to change. Right. And if the police department can run a background check on me, mm, should be I a... ought to be able to run a background <laughs> check on them. Right. Oh, more transparency. We call that transparency. Exactly. And like you said, community, working together, building trust in our community yes. is how we're going to start healing some of these Oh, deep, deep, deeply, deeply, deeply uh, hurt wound, exactly. wounds. Exactly. Well, uh, let me ask you this. How is Robbie doing today? I know he's got a book out. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we just want to know, I mean, we understand a little bit, but how's he doing today? What, what's he, going on now? He's doing okay. He went mm -hmm. back to school and finished his degree okay. in uh, criminal justice at yes. Prairie View. Oh, see. And he's uh, doing a lot of speaking engagements. Yes. And He's considering law school, which, you know, I, I hope that he, he'll go that way. But, of course, you know, that, I can't say that. Well, well, I understand. And, um, <laughs> and he's, um, Prairie View has started a new uh, a social justice center yes. at the school. And they really like for him to work with that. Oh, well, that is outstanding. Yeah. Uh, and at this point, we've got to say thank you again for coming and joining Thanks us. For I am me. so glad. Please. Please don't be a stranger. Thank you so much for joining us, Ms. Tolan. And thank you for watching. We are so excited. Look, we've got more All About the Law when we come back right after this. Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more All About the Law. All About the Law with Willie Powell. Have you been injured in an 18-wheeler accident, truck accident, car accident? Was someone texting and ran into the back of you, not paying attention? It doesn't matter what it is. Give me a call, Attorney Willie Powell. We'll fix it today. The number is 281-881-2457. Again, that number is 281-881-2457. We'll fix it today. Call Attorney Willie Powell. During the Cadillac season's best sales event, Ron Carter Cadillac, Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, delivers 0% APR for 72 months, plus $3,000 bonus cash on both the first ever 2020 CT4 luxury collection for only $449 a month, and the first ever 2020 CT5 luxury collection for just $499 a month, both with only $1 down. Gulf Freeway, just two minutes south of the Beltway. Shop smarter when you shop Ron Carter. Ron Carter Cadillac. Welcome back to All About the Law with Willie Powells. I'm your host, Willie Powells, and I'm so happy to have this next guest on the show with me. Uh, you know, we, I have the pleasure of being able to share a suite with this living icon. Uh, you know, there's very few things I can say uh, to give him all of the credentials that he's worthy of, but without further ado, Please welcome the awesome, the great, the living legend, Uncle Ricky Anderson. Hello, my man. How's it going today? I'm doing well, Willie. Thank oh, you, and so congratulations. Congratulations on your television show, and oh. um, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Oh, you know what? It is always a pleasure, and it is always a delight just to be in your presence, even if we're not physically in, but just me seeing you on the same screen is an encouragement. <laughs> so thank you for taking time out of your very, very, very busy schedule to join me on the show today. 
Sure. No, it, it's my pleasure, Willie. It's always an honor and a privilege to share some time with you. So, uh, so thanks for having me as a guest and I look forward to having some fun doing this dialogue. Oh, absolutely. And fun is the key word because fun, entertainment, law, and Ricky Anderson all go in the same space. <laughs> so, in fact, you know, one of the things I always like to ask you, and if you don't mind, I'm going to try to ask you now. I know you can't do it because there's too many clients, but can you just throw out just a couple of names that our audience will identify with of people that you worked with in the past or present or you've got projects going? Just give us a, just give us a few, please. Well, I know the uh, the name is probably most recognizable because he mentions my name so often is Steve Harvey and, you know, a comedian and Academy Award winner Monique, Yolanda Adams, uh, of course, Bishop Hezekiah Walker, Ty Trivet, Kathy Davis, who's got a long history with Tyler Perry. Um, so it's been a long and fun opportunity to work with them or Judge Greg Mathis and many more. And uh, like you said, Willie, it's been a pleasure. To work with each of them. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. You know, I st I still love watching the Kings of to Comedy Tour. I mean, to me, it is still funny today, and knowing that you were the one behind that. I mean, it's just uh, it's just amazing. I, I still laugh at the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of those pieces that's just got, it's legendary in and of itself with uh, with Steve Harvey and Cedric the Entertainer and uh, Bernie Mac and of course D.L. Hughley. Yes. Legendary. Yes. Well, you know, so so there's we're going to let the cat right out the bag. You're one of the greatest entertainment attorneys, not only in my opinion, but by far in the opinions of of our community and our workforce. One of the greatest ever to do it. That's why I'm saying referencing you as a living legend. I mean, you sit on I mean, you've got books. You, you're a professor. You sit on the boards of a lot of, you know, what we see in Hollywood, like the the all of these various award shows and stuff. You have a you play a major part in all of that. And so, uh, I, you know, share some nuggets with us. If there's a young person who is maybe interested in doing entertainment law or what nuggets would you give that young lawyer who is, you know, maybe getting started and. And, and wants to know, hey, how does this thing work? I mean, if there's anybody for them to learn a couple of nuggets from, it's definitely you. Do you have any nuggets for us today? Well, I, I do, Willie, and I, and I thank you. That's always um, an invitation for me to share with our young, not only up and coming lawyers, but those that are interested in entertainment in total. Sure. Um, if you've got a passion for it, make a commitment. Yes. Make a commitment and give it your best every day. And yes. I mean that in whatever profession you're in, yes. but particularly in our industry, that's required. You've got to give 110% every day in everything you touch. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, and that's coming from somebody who I know every day. GQ, smile on his face, working hard on the phone and setting a great example. Yes. So I would like to know, um, what are some of the so what are some of the uh, upcoming projects that you have that you're working on right now? Well, we've got a number of projects. We've got the Bass Reeves story. He was the first African American U.S. lawman, and we actually taped that in Corsicana, Texas, huh. and it's called Corsicana. Yeah. And um, before I you know delve into that, I certainly wanted to just share that with COVID nineteen, yes, the entertainment industry is still doing well. It's very, very solid, and uh, we've certainly made some adaptations as far as being COVID prepared, certainly making sure we're protecting the talent, the cast, the crew, and even with your production, you know, I see that they're taking the precautions to make sure that everybody's distance, wearing the mask. So, you know, before I, do do before I dive into that, Willie, I just wanted to make sure I always share that the transition that everybody's kind of looking at from this year is how do we move forward, right. and we will. And, and as I said, taking the precautions, knowing that these shows are still in production, there's certainly work available. And let's just stay enthusiastic about the entertainment industry. Yeah, I, I think we should because we need it. It's, it's who we are as a society and life isn't the same. There's no balance without the entertainment aspect of it all. Thank you. And we'll be right back. More conversation with attorney Ricky Anderson right after this.
Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more All About the Law. All About the Law with Willie Powell. Have you been injured in an 18-wheeler accident, truck accident, car accident? Was someone texting and ran into the back of you, not paying attention? It doesn't matter what it is. Give me a call. Attorney Willie Powell. We'll fix it today. The number is 281 281- 881-2457. Again, that number is 281-881-2457. We'll fix it today. Call attorney Willie Powell. If you would like to submit your video for Sue or sit your ass down, just head over to our Instagram page at All About the Law Show and click on the link in the bio. The law with Willie Powell. Welcome back. I'm joined by one of my very dear friends, attorney Ricky Anderson. I want to hear more about your institute, and I want to hear a little bit more about you as the in the professorship role at Texas Southern University. So share a little bit of light uh, about your institute with us. Okay. No, thank you, Willie. I have always had education in the forefront of my mind. I've been lecturing there at Thurgood Marshall School of Law for 23 years. Um, I lecture entertainment law and music industry contracts, and those are the two books I've written. My publisher is Walters Kluwer, but you can always get my books. They're available online just going to attorneyrickyanderson.com. And uh, so those are available in digital format or hard book format if you're interested. But I love the educational system, and I am so very proud that I'm a double HBCU grad. Um, I just shout to the highest mountains, and I'll swim the deepest sea, saying Prairie View A&M University and Thurgood Marshall School of Law. Outstanding. Outstanding. the, um, The attorney Ricky Anderson Entertainment Institute is an online version of courses available for high school students, undergrad, those that are in, you know, the two year college institutes and uh, maybe not ready for law school, maybe not even interested in getting into law school, but it gives them uh, 280 courses as tools to learn from in the entertainment industry. So, you know, feel free to take a look at attorney Ricky Anderson's Entertainment Law Institute. Let's talk more about teaching, okay? So I would like to know if there's a a young person or a person who's interested in going to law school, uh, what are some of the things or maybe even what would you tell your 20-year-old self that may be back in that place and trying to process, hey, I think I want to be a lawyer. I think I may want to do entertainment or something in that nature. What steps or nuggets would you tell that person at this point? Attorney Powell, I would ask them to volunteer uh, in those particular areas. I mean, if you're interested in entertainment law, you've got television stations locally, radio stations locally that you can volunteer for. You know, you've got active theaters. I mean, short of COVID-19, you know, you've got those environments that you'll learn a lot and you can volunteer and just, you know, get to meet some of the administration, some of the lawyers and some of the day-to-day activities that take place in those environments. Yeah, I think I think that's wonderful. Experience is one of the best teachers and to get out there and actually see what happens and, you know, see the client or go to the courtroom and sit in. It's very, 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 very hard to beat that, you know, because you can't necessarily read that in a book. <laughs> so. You are 100 percent correct. And you learn a lot along the way. You know, when you're looking at concert promotions or radio broadcast, or if you're looking at, you know, television broadcast, those are the types of things that we've got to be familiar with. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. You're such a delight, and I'll be in touch with you soon. Thank you for joining us again. And with that, coming up next, it's time for Sue or Sit Your Ass Down. Don't go away. We'll be right back. If you would like to submit your video for Sue or sit your ass down, just head over to our Instagram page at All About the Law Show and click on the link in the bio. Well, it's a little change of pace. This time I've got an email and it looks like it's an email from Vanessa. So let's see what Vanessa emailed me today. It says, 
Hi, Tony Pals. My sister went on Instagram and aired all of our family's dirty laundry. She talked about how much weed I like to smoke. <laughs> our mom losing her job and that my granny can't cook anymore like she used to. Wow. Right? Just before Thanksgiving. <laughs> she spilled a lot of tea on the family. You know, who was in jail and all that kind of stuff. Well, I want to sue her for defamation of my character. Hmm. So should I shoo or should I sit my ass down? Okay. <laughs> Vanessa, Vanessa, Vanessa. Wow. Look, we're a couple of days away from Thanksgiving. We're close, all right? We're about to split the turkey. We should be thinking about thank thankfulness, good things, happiness. I understand it happens. No family is perfect. There's definitely going to be some talking about one another. But one thing I want to mention is, you know, for us to bring a cause of action, we also have to have something called damages, right? So it's one thing to be hurt, but it's another thing if we can actually recoup money or monetary damages because of what was said or done. And so uh, I think I'd like to talk to you a little bit closer on this one because, <laughs> you know, not being able to cook and Thanksgiving is a few days away. Yeah, that's pretty personal. <laughs> but, you know, there might be some other things we might be able to talk about or work out in a way other than suing your sister. So if we can't, maybe we'll sue. But if we can work it out, and maybe y'all can have a happy Thanksgiving around the same turkey. Let's see if we can't do that first. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, so I'm not going to say, Sue, I'm not going to say, sit your ass down. I'm going to say, give me a call and let's talk about it. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, with that, I want to hear from you. I want your input. If you have an idea or a topic for the show, a video to share, let me know about it. Hit us up on Facebook and Instagram at All About the Law Show. Also, if you ever need me for legal advice or if you've been involved in an accident, head over to WillyPowellsLawFirm.com or give us a call at 281-881-2457. Again, that's 281-881-2457. Before I get out of here, I want to thank our guest today. Ms. Marion Tolan, and attorney Ricky Anderson. And now I want to leave everybody with this final thought. Believe it or not, there is never a shortage of love. There is always room for one more person at the table. Always space for one more in the circle. There's always enough love to go around. Why? Because God is love. There is no lack, limit, or failure in God. And if we allow him, we will find that he will increase our capacity to love. Yes, God makes us bigger on the inside. He increases our capacity to love. So as we approach the holiday season, remember to ask God to increase your capacity to love and watch him work a miracle in your life. Beloved, let us love one another. That's it for tonight, and we'll see you next time.